Today is February 13th. I am in Monument, Colorado, here at a Walmart. Will I find model kits on clearance? Will this Walmart still have model kits after the holiday season? Let's go inside and find out right here on the Mile High Scale Modeler Channel. Welcome to the Mile High Scale Modeler Channel. I am in Monument, Colorado a town 15 minutes north of Pikes Peak, and just to my left you can see the Rocky Mountains. I've been hearing rumblings of potential model kits staying in Walmart year-round, with round two giving them more and more as they need. However, let's go inside and see if that is true, or let's see if the kits are actually on clearance after the holiday season. It took me a few minutes searching, however, after those few minutes, I finally found the model kits listed for $15 here in a middle display case. Let's see what kits we have. Here is the AMT 1963 Nova. We have also some modified Stalker 65 Ford Fairlanes. There are a lot of those here I can see so far. Also some 64 convertible Cutlass, 32 Ford Vicky with the Coca-Cola stickers, and again the Nova Station Wagon. Here is the Ford Van for $10. Nothing on the two bottom rows. Moving over, we do see a lot more kits. A lot of these kits I've been seeing that are $10 most of the time. The 132nd scale model kits are $5. And then there is the Coca-Cola tractor trailer for $15. And then I also saw a snow plow here as well for $15. Um, there you just saw the 41 Plymouth. And here are those Coca-Cola trailers for $15 a piece, which is actually a great deal um, if you are definitely into big rigs and modeling of those sorts. Here's another 60 Ford for $10. We also see that snow plow there. Here's some Jolly Roger dual model kits for $10. The 30 second scales I spoke about for $5 a piece, which is a Thunderbird and a 32 Ford. We also see some of those wacky racers here for $10, those model kits. Star Trek kits were five bucks a piece. There's also the Batman there for $10. There's a few of those here. And then other Star Trek uh, kits as well for $10. And then just the same ones we've seen already for $10 a piece with that 60 Ford. Let me move this out of the way here and look around and see what's on this side. Here is some more of those 60 Fords. Another Batman Batmobile. Here's actually a the Tip Top Shop for 20 bucks. It's actually a great deal if you're in a diorama, a great price for what is everything that comes in here, which is awesome. We all see that snow plow for 15 bucks, which is actually a great buy. Since it's going right now for about uh, 35 to 50 bucks, I've been seeing it on Facebook groups and other places. Uh, but here it is, the display for 15 bucks and all the kits that came in it. Um, a lot of the kits were already scavenged by the time I got here, and I was unaware that actually there'd be ones for clearance, but it's awesome to still see kits here. Um, definitely not full price as I would hope to have seen, um, knowing that Walmart would have then been keeping the round two kits in for a long period of time. Uh, unfortunately, they are clearanced, uh, but hopefully in the future, um, based upon what I've been hearing around the forums and the groups, that round two and Walmart will hopefully come to an agreement and round two will stock the Walmart shelves year round with model kits for us. So please like and subscribe, and I will catch you all here on the next video.